What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to automate the creation of your print on demand products using the bulk POD product creator. Step one, select your image files, that's pretty straightforward, we're going to click choose files, this is the folder here we'll be using, select all images, open, and we have our 15 files selected. Couple checkboxes here, we're going to leave both of these checked, uh, number one is upscale images to high resolution and 300 dpi, this is obviously useful for making sure that your final products have the best possible print quality for your customers, so obviously we'll leave that checked. Number two, stretch images to fit print areas. This one's useful for if you have different sizes, slightly different aspect ratios. Basically by leaving this checked, it'll make it so all of the images are resized to perfectly fit each of your selected sizes. So that's all good. We're gonna move down here. Step two, select your example product. Uh, first, we'll select what store we want to do this operation for. We'll connect another store. Printify API key, I have this already copied to my clipboard. If you need to find this, all you got to do is click here. It'll take you to the account API part of your website, the connection section. All you got to do is create an API token. It'll give you a little code that you can just copy. And this basically allows other software tools to connect with your Printify account to do whatever it is that the software needs to do. So that's all good. This is set up. Uh, store ID. To find this, you're going to navigate navigate to the orders page here and up here in this little URL section we'll just copy this code drop it in here just like that our store is connected and then we're just going to select our example product to use uh, what we're going to do is I already have this one selected this is just a little template product where this is just this is what I want my products to look like basically and so if you come up here there's a little section here we're going to copy this part of the URL just after the slash just before this little part here paste this in here, we're going to do select another product, paste this here. And so the way this website works is basically for each one of your image files, using the example product that you select as a sort of template, as a sort of role model, it'll basically create a new one of these products for each one of your images using whatever uh, specified, you know, setup parameters you have in terms of the, the sizes, the aspect ratios you've selected, uh, stuff like that. Basically for each one of your images, using this example product will create more of these products for each one of these images. And next we're gonna move down to step three, which is our final step, the new product creation rules. There's a section for product titles, product descriptions, and product tags. Really all we're doing here is just deciding that for each one of the products that we create, what do we want these products to look like? So for product titles, we're gonna use uh, generate using AI. Uh, if you want, you can leave it as the default, which is where it'll just use the image file names. We're gonna use the AI image recognition capabilities here. Max words per AI title, five, that sounds fine. Uh, include custom text. So since we're creating posters here, uh, for SEO purposes, I wanna have poster wall art, eh, I'm not gonna do all caps actually, I'll just say poster wall art like that. And then I'm just gonna use this little arrow here to flip the order. So basically this allows you to add additional custom text if you want to, to each title. Maybe you could say like New York Photography, uh, whatever it is. For our purposes, we're just gonna say poster wall art. Uh, and it'll basically append this custom text to each product title plus the AI generated title will come after that. So poster wall art, and then the AI comes up with full moon landscape. Boom, it'll drop that in there for image number one. Image number two, you know, desert oasis. It'll say poster wall art, desert oasis, whatever it is. Same for the image file, file names if you're using that option. But uh, for our purposes, we're going to be using generate using AI. Next, we'll come down to product descriptions. You can either just copy from the example product or generate using AI. Once again, we're gonna use the AI image recognition tools to basically provide us with SEO optimized descriptions of the images. Uh, it gives us you know, an accurate description of the actual contents of the image, and it's really quite good at doing this. So we're just gonna leave this. Uh, if you want, you can add some custom HTML to each description. Let's say you have like a custom description that you typed here where it's it's set up and it perfectly describes you know the wall posters all the features and stuff you can click this little thing here to actually copy the html for your product you could come here drop it in there it'll include the html and then similar to the titles uh it'll basically give you the ai generated part plus the custom html part you can flip the order if you want the html first doesn't really matter either way i don't really need this for what i'm doing uh so i'm just going to leave this blank but uh, that's an option if you want to pursue that 
So last thing is gonna be the product tags. You can either copy from the example product or once again, generate using AI. We're gonna generate using AI, uh, max number of tags, 20, that's fine. And then if you want, you can also add these tags to each created product. So I know that I'm doing posters, so I'm gonna say poster, wall decor, poster, wall arts, prints, wall prints. I think that should be good. That's really about it. Our operation is set up. We selected our image files. We said, here's the example product. Let's make more that are like this, except using these image files instead of whatever is there. And then here are the rules and setups for the titles, the descriptions, and the tags. All we need to do next is click this button, initializing your operation, creating your products. And now you can just go do whatever you want. You can hang out, you can focus on marketing, you can focus on advertising, you can focus on actually making money instead of coming into the interface, clicking around, doing a bunch of stuff just to create products individually. This is just in the background uh, doing its, you know, working its magic to generate the products. We can come over here to the products page. And as you can see, one, two out of 15 products created. It is just doing all of this for us. So we'll click here, we'll open this up, we'll compare so we can kind of give you a side by side. So poster wall art, that's that custom text we added, Alien Horizons, that's that's just what the AI came up with for this, uh, this product. And in my opinion, that's a pretty goddamn good title right there. We'll scroll down, as you can see, if you compare the two products, you can see uh, how it used this as sort of the example. It created the same variants, the same sizes and everything. But if you look here, it actually perfectly resized the images to fit each of the different aspect ratios. So, so it's always gonna generate uh, really a perfect product. And it also upscales the images. So if, if you're using some small images, we can click edit design, we'll come in here. Oh, would you look at that 300 DPI? So you're always gonna get good quality products using this tool. We'll leave this, come back here. As, you, as we can see in the background, it's just humming along, generating the products for us. Click on this one. Do a little side-by-side -side action once again. As you can see, uh, this significantly streamlines the process. Instead of me coming in here, going to my products, finding the poster, clicking around, uploading the images, typing all this stuff, it's just automatically doing this for us. You just come in here, click a couple things, set up your operation. I'm only doing 15 here for the sake of the demo, but imagine if you're creating, you know, 100, 200, 500 products, how much time this could save you on this process. Coming here once again, we're gonna scroll down and as you can see, this is what the AI came up with for the description. Uh, again, this uses image recognition. It actually understands the contents of the image and it's astonishingly accurate. Uh, it does a fantastic job of generating accurate SEO optimized descriptions of the artwork, what the image contains, the mood, uh, everything you can think of. It just absolutely crushes it. This striking digital artwork combines geometric abstraction with a surreal landscape, creating a mesmerizing visual experience, blah, 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 and so forth. Again, very accurate stuff. Saves a ton of time. Instead of me coming here, typing this, trying to think, oh, you know, what, what does this describe? I got to come in here and punch this in, spend 10 minutes writing this or hiring someone to do it for me. Nope, I can just come here, click a few things. AI works its magic and just does it all for me automatically on autopilot. Tags, these were the AI generated tags. Again, very accurate stuff. Geometric abstraction, mountain silhouettes, digital artwork, futuristic vista, cube structure, glowing orb. Uh, it, it just, it really does a good job with uh, coming up with good artwork names, good descriptions, good tags. And then again, the custom tags I added, poster, wall decor, whatever, if I'm using this for sorting rules on my Shopify store, maybe. In terms of like knowing what collection to add it to or whatever, you can add your custom tags and then you can do the AI generated tags as well. It does take a little bit of time to create each product. You got to keep in mind that it's it's doing a lot of stuff in the background here. It's resizing images, it's upscaling images to ultra high resolutions. Uh, it's doing that for different aspect ratios. It's creating the products. It's doing the AI image analysis. There's a lot of stuff going on in the background here. So it does take a bit of time for each product, but it's time that you don't need to spend doing this manually. It's time that you can instead spend on marketing your products, figuring out how to actually make money selling this stuff, putting your products in front of customers, you know, brainstorming, business strategy, whatever it is, all of this time that you were previously spending, coming here, going to the products page, clicking around in the interface, catalog, oh, I got to find posters, where are the posters at? Okay, I got to come here. Oh, I can't remember which one was it. Oh, I, got, I think it was this one, rolled posters. Okay, we'll come here. I got to come here, start designing. This is just doing all this work for you. 
oh, I gotta come here, I gotta select my variants. Oh no, which ones was it? I gotta come here and, uh, was it this one? 2016. 24. And then I think it was this one too. Okay, cool, I got this. Oh wait, I'm also only doing the glossy posters. I gotta come here and click even more stuff. Meanwhile, the bulk POD product creator just did all of that work for me. 15 out of 15 products created. We are going to go ahead and return to our products page and marvel at the majesty of this software tool. As you can see, uh, it just did all this work for us. Poster wall art, Crimson Peaks. We'll just come here. We'll, we'll look at a few more here. We only did uh, 15 for the operation, but as you can see, uh, all of this done on autopilot, saving us an enormous amount of time, giving us SEO optimized, accurate descriptions of the artwork, giving us, uh, you know, the titles that are totally appropriate for the artwork images, giving us the descriptions, giving us the tags. And then really you can just come here and, and just publish the stuff to your store. And I mean, you're good to go. So check this out, bulkpodproductcreator.com. Uh, with a dash between each word. You can find a link in the description, comment section as well. Super helpful tool, saves a ton of time on this process, especially if you have a pretty standardized workflow and process where you know that you're creating this one type of product, whether it's a t-shirt or canvas art or a wall poster or whatever. If it's always the same repetitive steps where you're just coming in, clicking around, manually doing this stuff. Oh, I got to come here. I got to select my variants. I got to do all this. I got to do all that. Then I got to come here. I got to upload the image. I got to resize it for each template and, and zoom and click around and then click over. And then I got to come in and I got to do the title and the description and the tags. That's 15, 20 minutes of work right there per product. If you're fast, maybe you can do it in five or 10, or maybe you hire a VA to do this for you and you know, you're know you paying them an hourly rate or whatever it is to, to get all this stuff done for you. None of that is necessary. You can just come here to this website, select your image files, select your example product, set up your new product creation rules, click create my products, and it will automatically do all this work for you in the background on autopilot, 100% automated, so you can focus your time and energy on more valuable activities. Hope you found this helpful. Once again, link in the description and comment section. Check it out. And if you have any questions whatsoever, contact support. Uh, we'll get back to you ASAP and help you out. Thanks, guys.